with Play with the World and I am out playing with the world. I'm here in Berlin, Germany and I have a message for you today because I have spent the last 30 days playing, living, breathing, loving all of life in Germany and Germany has some amazing life lessons that we can learn and apply to our own life. Of course it's great, I think you should add Berlin to your list to visit for your bucket list of travel, but even if you don't, we can learn a lot from the Germans and the culture here. It's fabulous, there's so much history here. And so I wanna share the very first one today, which is actually pretty amazing. Life lessons learned in Germany. Number one, especially in Berlin, creative expression is essential to your well-being. So a lot of times we think, oh, I'm not creative, but the truth is we all as humans need and have the drive to be creative in a way that's going to allow us to express ourselves. Some people dye their hair, finding cool, awesome, bright colors. Other people, how you do your hair, no matter what, is a creative expression. How you wear your clothes, the way you project yourself out into the world, but also your creative expression with what you do. So maybe you do painting or drawing or writing, and maybe you, that's what you think creativity is. And you might be saying, I don't do any of that. But the truth is, we are all creative in our own way. So maybe you find a creative way to solve a problem, or you look for creative solutions on how to communicate better with your loved ones. Maybe you have a work project and you're looking for a way to bring a little more creative and innovation into it. So the thing is, our well-being is dependent on us being able to honor our own creative expression. And so ask yourself, am I being creative enough? If you feel stuck in life in any area, chances are you're not allowing yourself to be who you really are. And if that's the experience, then look at your creative expression and see how you can honor the voice within that says I need to be more creative. The second one I wanna share with you today, life lessons learned in Germany, is that the contrast brings clarity. We have contrasts in our life on so many levels. And here what I've seen in Germany is there is such an extreme contrast. Of course you have the old, beautiful, ancient, amazing architecture. And then a lot of the places in Berlin, all of the buildings are covered with street art. This beautiful bright color of paint and whether it's a professional street artist or someone just graffitiing on the side, what's really interesting is the contrast that I've noticed. The contrast in our own life, such as the solar polarities, people having very extreme views that might be opposite of yours. This has happened here in Germany in the history too, and how it's helped shape the world really. All of these contrasts are designed in life to help you get clear, of course, with yourself. So the more contrast there is, instead of fighting against it, pushing against it, thinking that something really bad is gonna happen, whether you know it's the political environment right now or the environmental situation, the financial situation, whatever it is in the world right now, there's a lot of chaos and there's a lot of contrast. There's people who believe one thing and there's opposites, people who really stand tall on the other. Now, one is not right over the other. This is the truth. There are no wrong beliefs. You find one that works for you. And what's really beautiful is when you apply all these tips together, you're more aligned with yourself. So number one, express yourself creatively. And as you do that, you'll realize that there's certain things that don't sit with you, so you align with what brings you clarity. And this is how the contrast can help us bring things more in line into ourselves. You center into your true self. The third and final step I'll share, life lessons learned in Germany. This is very important, because we must, we must learn from our past. We all have a history, we all have things that we've gone through that maybe we don't really appreciate. Now, what's interesting about Germany is there's a huge part of the population that is a little afraid, at least I've noticed this as I've talked to a lot of locals and hung out with a lot of Germans over the month, that there's this kind of undertone of, we don't wanna to be too proud of who we are, and that's because we're ashamed of our past, but they're starting to get to a place where they're no longer ashamed, they're accepting it and acknowledging it. Because as you know, World War II was really driven by the German history and Hitler and everything that happened here during then. So they don't want to rock the boats. They don't want to bring up the past, so they tread lightly. In fact, in 2014, when the World Cup, the Germans won the World Cup, this was the first time, a lot of newspapers wrote about it, where the Germans were waving their flags and saying, yes, we're proud to be a German. And it was really a turn in the turning point of culture, but also I want you in your own life to look at your past. Are you shying away from it? Are you afraid? Are you embarrassed? Are you like, I can't even, um, just can't face it. Instead, acknowledge it, shine a light on it, and say, this happened. 
It happens, I might not be proud of it, but I can at least acknowledge it and I can learn from it. Because when we learn from it, we will not repeat it. And that is the best lesson that our past, our misfortunes, our setbacks can give us. So I hope that you really apply these tips and you enjoy the inspiration that I have found in Germany. I can't wait for you guys to hear your stories when you visit Germany and how you like it. Thanks guys for playing with the world. Have an awesome time. I'm coming to you next week from a whole new country. Can't wait to talk to you then. Bye.